This is Ms. Cooper here, week 14 commentary video. We're going to talk about the European Economic Community or the EEC. There are three parts to this document. The first part talks about um, a free trade area made up of members, member nations. Original members were France, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, and Italy. These are the original members of the European Economic Community. Uh, they're also known as the common market. Members would impose no tariffs or import charges on each other's goods. As a group, they were protected by a tariff imposed on goods from non-EEC nations. They were encouraged uh, encourage cooperation among member nations' economies. So try a, a friendly alliance is established here, not to make war, not even to talk serious politics. This is all about the money, okay? It's all about the money. The post-war Soviet Union. Uh, leaders of the Soviet Union existed between 1922 and 1991. Remember, the Soviet Union begins with actually begins with Vladimir Lenin, but the first name that's going to be widely recognized is Joseph Stalin, and that's 1924 to 1953. The next major name that's mentioned is Nikita Khrushchev from 1953 to 1964, and the next major name that's mentioned is Leonid Brezhnev, 1964 to 1982. There's also Michelle Gorbachev. There's a couple of other names in between these names, but these are the major leaders. Japan is transformed in this last portion of the document. The new Japanese constitution consists of renounced war as a national policy. They supported a balance of power among the three branches of government. They guaranteed basic rights and gave women the right to vote. Reduced the power of the emperor, established a parliamentary system, and supported universal suffrage. Everybody should be able to vote that lives here. Yes, so this is your chapter 14 document. Thank you for listening.